Hey, welcome back. In today's video, I want to show you how you can use Microsoft Password List, specifically a FIDO2 security key, to help onboard a new employee at the organization. So in other words, if I'm a new hire, my IT department's gonna ship me a brand new computer and also a FIDO2 security key. I'm gonna use my personal computer to provision that key, and then I'm going to use that key to set up my new computer so I can get access to all my apps and resources on my first day of employment. So in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through this in two separate parts. First, I'm gonna talk about the user experience and show you what that looks like. And then we're gonna jump into the second half of the video into the administrative side on how to get this set up. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's pretend for a moment that today is my first day as a new employee at a new organization. The IT department shipped me a brand new Windows laptop along with a USB security key and they sent an email to my personal email address with instructions on how to set up the key and how to set up my new work computer to get started on my first day of work. Great. So the instructions tell me that I need to use my personal computer to set up that key. Okay, so here I am on my personal Mac and I'm gonna use the Edge browser because that's what I like to use, my personal Mac. And it wants me to sign in to the company's security page at aka.ms slash my security info. So let's go ahead and browse there now. All right. And it wants me to use my new email address that was just issued to me. So I'm gonna copy that out of my personal email. And then it wants me to use the temporary access pass that is also in that email of instructions. So I'm gonna use that to sign in. And it does say that this is a one-time use only password, so I can't use it again. That's good to know, I guess. And then uh, I do not want to stay signed in because this is a work website and I don't want that on my work on my personal computer. Okay, once I'm signed in, the instructions say to add a sign in method. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and then follow the instructions. Okay, so since you sign in with a temporary access pass, you can only register methods. All right, so it tells me to choose a security key. All right, click add. It says choose USB, and then click Next. All right, it's going to redirect me. Okay, it says in the instructions to go ahead and follow the instructions that are on the screen. Okay, so go ahead and insert your key. I'm going to do that now. Ah, and it wants me to create a pin, okay. So, there's the pen, touch your key. Okay, it says click allow, okay. Give it a name, Matt's security key, why not? And now you're all set. Okay, perfect. And there's my key. Okay, so now the instructions say to switch over to my work computer and use the key to sign into my work computer. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch over and continue on my work computer. Okay, so I turned to my new work computer for the very first time. It asked me to connect to the Wi-Fi network, choose my language, and then I got brought to this screen to sign in. So the instructions say to click on sign in with a security key. So I'm gonna do that and follow the on-screen instructions. Make sure your key is inserted. Okay, type in your PIN. And then the instructions say after you do this, the system will automatically start to set up your computer. And it says, uh, wait maybe a couple of hours, come back and you'll be ready to start using your new computer. Okay, great. This is really easy, touch the security key. and I should be up and running here soon. Okay, let's talk about the admin side of this and how you get all of this set up. So the first step is you have to turn on password lists. So we're gonna to go to the Azure portal, go to Azure Active Directory and uh, click on security. And then we're gonna click on authentication methods 
And then here you can see the various authentication methods. For today, we're gonna to talk about FIDO2 security key as one of the passwordless methods. But don't forget, you also can use the Microsoft Authenticator app as another passwordless method. And you can use Windows Hello for Business, which I'll do another video on that at some other time. But let's go ahead and click on FIDO2 security key. And I've just enabled this and I have this targeted to all users, although you could scope it out if you like. And then click on the Configure tab, allow self-service setup to yes, so you could use that My Security Info page. Enforce uh, attestation just means, uh, maybe I'll do a video on this at some point, but it means we're gonna go out to the FIDO Alliance website, we're gonna check to make sure that's actually a valid and real uh, FIDO key that's actually registered at the FIDO Alliance. There's a number of things that happen behind the scenes. Um, I could enforce only specific types of keys to be used, but I'm not going to do that. And then I'm just going to click Save to make sure that this is enabled. Now, once I do that, we then have to turn on Temporary Access Pass. So that was the, the temporary password that you saw me type in uh, for the very first time. And so this is where I'm just going to turn this on, and then I'm going to click Configure. And this is where I can edit the policy here for how long do I want this to be, uh, what's the lifetime I want of this temporary access pass and how long do I want it to be valid for? Do I want to require it only for one-time use? So on and so forth. So let your business requirements uh, dictate how you create that policy. Now, once I enable TAP and I enable FIDO2 for password lists, I'm gonna go back to Azure Active Directory. I'm gonna to go to my user account that I just provisioned, which is this guy here. And I'm gonna click on authentication methods over here on the left. And this is where I issued a temporary access pass. Now there you can see the FIDO2 security key that's registered with this user account. But to issue a temporary access pass, I'm just gonna click on add authentication method, choose temporary access pass, and then I can set it. Now, since I shipped, since the IT department shipped the computer and the uh, security key, you could do a delayed start time. So if I know it's going to get there maybe by next, you know, Friday or whatever, I can then uh, configure that appropriately. But you get the idea. And then once that's completed, actually, let's go ahead and do this. So once I, I create that temporary access pass, there's the password and the instructions. Perfect. So I just email that to the end user, to their personal email address, text it to them. Uh, I mean, there's probably a number of different out-of-band methods I could use. Uh, and that's that's really it, folks. So um, the other side of this is you saw when I signed into that new Windows computer, how I signed in using that security key, and then I told you that the instructions said it will push down all my apps and settings automatically. Well, yeah, that's through uh, Microsoft Endpoint Manager, and that's where you could have various... Um, configuration profile set up to configure device settings. I can then come in here and I can specify applications to be pushed down as well. So that can be kind of interesting. Uh, but then I could also use what's called Windows Autopilot to do further customization of that out-of-box experience, maybe skip some of those steps that you saw, and maybe tie the serial number of that device directly to uh, the tenant here so it can only be used with that tenant. There's a number of things you could do. Uh, I do have some videos out there where I've talked about autopilot in the past. I need to do a new video on it anyway, so maybe stay tuned and I'll do a video on that soon. Okay, I have some really important documentation that I want to share with you. I will put a link in the video description so you can read more about this. Uh, there's going to be a lot I'm actually going to put in there. One of the links will be this page, Plan a Passwordless Authentication Deployment. This is the deployment guide for passwordless using Microsoft Authenticator, what I call phone sign-in, FIDO2 compliance security key, which I showed you today, and Windows Hello for Business. So be sure to check out this page uh, so you can understand how to deploy this. Now, I'm going to put a link to another document, which is the FIDO2 security key providers that are compatible with Azure Active Directory. And so here you can see quite a few of these providers and you even have a little matrix here to understand uh, if you have specific requirements like biometric or FIPS certified, you can see which provider has that capability. And as you can see, there's quite a few here. So I'll put a link for that. 
The other one is what is a Microsoft compatible security key. So this will explain uh, how Microsoft works with the FIDO Alliance and works with these FIDO2 security uh, key providers. Uh, so you may wanna make sure you review this as well, just so you have an understanding. And then the other item here is you saw in the demo how I showed you key attestation. And so this will explain a little bit about what that is and key restriction policy as you can configure uh, those FIDO security key settings. And then I wanted to show you browser support of FIDO2 passwordless authentication. And so make sure you understand this as well. And then lastly, temporary access pass. Here's the documentation where you can learn more about that. Whew. All right, that was a lot of fun. So I showed you temporary access pass. I showed you FIDO2 security key. I showed you how to use that FIDO2 security key and register it on a personal computer using the My Security Info page. I showed you how to then use that with a fresh out of the box Windows laptop to sign in without using a password. I also showed you how to set all of this up in the Azure portal for Azure Active Directory and in the Microsoft Endpoint Management portal as well. So uh, please go out there and read some of the documentation I put down below in the video description. And I am working on new videos all the time, so be sure to click subscribe if you want to stay tuned for that. And hey, if you found value in this video, please give me a thumbs up and click like. That way it helps me out. All right, folks, have a great day. Take care. We'll see you in the next video.